Hi all, welcome back to my channel Pi Spark Pearl. So in this video, we'll be discussing about uh, partitioning versus bucketing in uh, Apache Spark. And so this is the most uh, commonly asked question in the interview. And uh, I've also talked to some of the friends who are giving interviews for the big data engineer role or Azure data engineer role, like having keywords in them like Pi Spark, Azure Data Breaks, Azure Data Factory. Uh, in even in Hive, you might get uh, this, uh, this type of uh, concept. So like if you are like uh, giving 10 interviews so 10 out of 8 interview interviewer will be having this question in this in their bucket list to ask to the candidate right if you are having experience of around like uh, three to four years of experience if you are giving this interview two to four years i can say so then you will be facing this uh, interview question that is like uh, 90 percent sure okay so let me uh, first let us uh, discuss how this partitioning looks and uh, suppose we are having this uh, data set right so we are having some four columns here and some 10 records i'm showing here and we want to partition by on the basis of product so so you can see there are like four products okay product zero product one product two and product four so some four products uh, are there and we have to partition on this basis of product so we are having this uh, one data frame and when we do this uh, when we write on the uh, dbfs and when we you know do partition by on the product so this is the uh, like it will be creating four files okay oh sorry four folders it will be creating uh, product zero then product one then product two and then product four and then according to the you know, uh, default number of partitions there will be uh, files in that folder so this is how like uh, partition work uh, basically like i'm showing you the, the concept like okay so this is this will be like uh, folder one inside that these two files will be there uh, folder two uh, product one and inside that these files uh, data will be there product three folder and then inside that these files will be there product four and according to you know, the partition number there will be number of files now let us see the bucketing concept so in bucketing concept we need to provide the number of buckets that we want and the uh, column okay the syntax we'll be seeing uh, in the first slide so suppose we are having some data okay then when we apply the bucket by function then some hash function will be running on that key column what we provide okay and then on the number of buckets buckets that you provided then it will be dividing data in those number of buckets so this is like the bucketing concept and this is the partitioning concept now let us uh, see some of the difference and what you know basic syntax how to you know, do this so uh, let us see the definition dividing based on the specific columns into directories that i have showed and dividing into fixed number of buckets and partitioning pruning pruning can be you know we can get this from this partitioning and like spark is also focusing on bucket pruning methods also so like i think uh, they are live or like they will be live soon okay then the storage structure we can see okay directives is data files organized by partition keys and files are stored within bucket is identified by key that hash key that we generate right and then depends on distinct value or the partition column fixed number of user defined buckets okay then data distribution is paid across multiple directories based on partition key and hashed evenly distributed among bucket so this you know data distribution we will be seeing live when we will be running the, running the code in our notebook of databricks so we'll be see like how the folders are created how the partition files are created right query performance helps in minimizing the amount of data scanned during queries efficient for joints and aggregation due to reduced data support definitely like if we are having two large tables right and we are using this bucketing concept this is like uh, this can improve the query performance like uh, up to like uh, 10 times i can say because uh, the data shuffle is you no know, it is very much reduced okay and maybe if you are using this uh, same number of buckets on the same partition column then their shuffle will not be happening also then partition column keys you know, usually categorical data type, date type column okay then numeric or categorical can be used anything okay then dynamic partitioning support dynamic partitioning values are auto automatically determined okay does not support dynamic uh, bucketing compatibility works well for wide range of use cases especially when queries involve filtering on partition keys best suited for scenarios when frequent frequent join operation so this table you know it is very useful if you go through this table then you might have a lot of points to you know discuss with the interviewer okay then syntax we can see df dot write dot partition by column name dot parquet and path okay then df dot write dot bucket by number of buckets then column name and dot cvs table so like this is the basic syntax and one more difference uh, i can say uh, like when we do the uh, partition by 
and but okay let's us uh, just uh, see them in the uh, databricks only when we you know run the code then i will be telling you like, that will be uh, that will help you to understand uh, the concept very well instead of just saying it theoretically right so this is our databricks notebook okay i have named this as partitioning versus bucketing and my cluster is also up and running you can see now this is my you know, sample data creation code you can like uh, uh, take a look at it like we are importing this call function then date and time data function like okay then for i in the current range current date is equal to start date plus time delta day is equal to i so start date uh, i have taken okay then data dot append str current date uh, this is the first column then f dot product this is the, i'm using this f string okay then i star 5 for the amount then region i mod 3 okay so i have created uh, such data frame oh let us see data frame is created you can see now i will just you know create a df so that you can be you know aware about data so you can see some four products are there 0 1 2 3 four products are id there and date you can see that like there will be thousand dates right uh, like it will be you know uh, increasing like thousand days data will be there okay and reason is just one two one and two okay now what you want we want it to be a partition on the basis of product right and you want to save it so I have created this part dbfs YouTube partition data. I will just check if you know Because I have run earlier. I have just cleared the part also. I will just see You can see there are two folders which is and we'll be creating a partition data folder. So there is no such data So let me uh, run this query The query is running so what it will be doing it will be creating separate uh, folders out of this bucket right product zero one two three three folders and uh, uh, guess the number of partitions uh, inside that folder okay let us check and then i will explain uh, number of partition concepts okay partition data three four folders are created part product zero product one product two and product three okay now let us check this product zero uh, you can see eight partitions are there in product one also you will be seeing eight partition product two also there will be eight partitions and product three also eight partitions are there okay and by default you can see this is the parquet file with snappy.parquet you can see okay let me copy this name only like it will be more you know clear to explain then default format is parquet okay for saving okay. you can see it is saved in snappy.parquet <coughs> okay then okay i'm not i don't want to delete this so we we have seen this you know the product folder structure let me just go through once again yeah the folder structure we have seen product zero product one product two and product three okay now what uh, you know what uh, advantages we can get we can get this uh, partition pruning from this so if we create a table out of you know okay. uh, let me so if we create this uh, you know, table out of this data and then we uh, search for this spark.sql then it will be uh, very um, efficient partition pruning can be done so i need to create this table and also we will discuss uh, that in the later videos uh, for now you understand like uh, suppose we are giving this when product is equal to one okay so what it will do it will not go to any other folders directly it will be just going to this folder product zero and it will be uh, going through the metadata of the file and it will be uh, displaying the uh, result out of it okay now that uh, pa uh, partition concept i was saying right so we will be seeing why it was giving eight partition because uh, the default number of partitions for the file is eight okay you can check this df dot rd to get num partition it is eight therefore for each file we are having eight partitions okay so for you know uh, this data is not so big and for the bucket of tables i want to uh, just showing that the four files are created out of you know uh, out of this uh, date folder okay so i'm running this i'm coalescing it to one because uh, see the, the uh, you'll be seeing this uh, i have 
coalesces that uh, this whole data frame into one partition but there will be four uh, files that will be created okay so let me do this and what type of uh, table it will it be any guesses okay will please comment that okay now let me open this dbfs and user youtube so and this is a bucketed data okay so we are having this bucketed data in part zero part one two and like there are four bucketing files are created right uh, each like uh, some hash function might have ran and four buckets you have given so this is uh, like created now let us also see the type of table I'm using extended and bucketed table. See, this is an extended table. Why it is an extended table? Because we have given a path. If we don't provide the path, then we can see this is will be an managed table. Okay. Let me create this bucketed table one. And we will describe this also. Ready computer. So we can see this is a, a managed table. Okay. So like this, we can see like some concepts will be there. Then they, they might ask to write a code and they will be asking what type of table will it create. So this type of question you might get. Okay. So I hope you liked my video and you had a great understanding on this uh, partition versus bucketing and Bucketing will be helping, like, you know, when we are having, suppose we are having this, uh, uh, suppose this is like orders table, okay, and then we have another table that is customers table, okay, and we want to join on the basis of product. So, and we are having, uh, sorry, if you want to join on the basis of date because they have bucketed by a date, and uh, we also provide the same bucket, number of buckets as four okay and then we we join this two table then you can see the query performance will be no that will be very good so that demonstration i will be giving like i will be creating and that it, it will be that will be a like uh, in next video because that will another be that will be again a big video so i will be explaining that in the upcoming videos so please follow me and just uh, be with me for the upcoming you know upcoming lectures and uh, what we say uh, upcoming videos and do let me know your feedback about my videos and about a topic that you want me to create a videos on and yeah subscribe my channel so thank you have a nice day bye